it's funny, people ask me all the time, you know, how did I become a butcher or how did I get into butchering meats? And I, I don't really think of myself as a butcher. I just think of myself as, uh, as, as a cook. And part of being a cook is, is knowing, how to, knowing what to do with what. So a pig head falls in front of me and knowing how to, what to do with it. The animal will tell you how to break it apart. It all makes sense. Butchery is very, very logical. It's just following the, the, the structure of the animal and following the, 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 the muscle lines and following the skeletal system. I like to think of the knife as just, as it's there just to encourage it to come apart. But there's lots of parts of the animal that you can actually butcher without even using a knife, just using your fingers by following the grains and slowly pulling it apart. This is a beautiful Berkshire pig head. So we're gonna use everything here. We're gonna take the tongue out um, and braise it and smoke it. We'll take the ears off and we'll confit those. Um, working muscles tend to be much more flavorful than sedentary muscles. So the, the belly is a relatively sedentary muscle, and that's what we typically make bacon out of. And the reason it has so much flavor is that there's a huge amount of fat in the belly. The cheeks also have a lot of fat, but they, all, they have more muscle, and it's a working muscle, so there's more blood going through it, there's myoglobin, which gives it a rich flavor. And if you imagine making bacon out of this, it just has so much more flavor than bacon made out of the belly. The pork board likes to call pork the other white meat, and I'm not really a big fan of that. To me, white, white pork is uh, pork that comes from sedentary pigs, pigs that don't have a really good life. They don't get to root around and dig in the dirt and, and eat snails and grubs and all those other things that give it a lot of flavor. Um, but if you look at this pig, which is you know a pig that was not conventionally raised, it was raised in a traditional way that a pig should be raised. It's got a lot of rosiness to it. This, this is all comes comes from from myoglobin. It comes from the blood. The pig is working. These are working muscles. Um, the more they work, the more blood flows through them. The richer the meat, the more flavor the meat has.